Let me tell you this, there is no right person on this planet. And this whole thing is an American thing that there is a soul mate somewhere. God made just one more person just for you. But these days every two years he keeps making one more person <laughs> just for you. <laughs> what are the person you are with is the right person for you? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, popular, eh? I don't want to take away all the romance from your life. <laughs> but let me tell you this, there is no right person on this planet. If you put your heart into something, something may become wonderful. Is it the right thing? There is no right thing. Nobody ever found the right person anywhere, okay? If you get into that kind of unrealistic mindset, I have found the right person, oh, you will be soon disappointed. <laughs> you must understand, there is no right person. First thing is to see whether I am the right person. Yes, am I the right person? And there are no right people on this planet. If you understand, you have your nonsense, they have their nonsense. We can adjust nonsense, nonsense. Go on. <laughs> we must understand relationships are formed for various needs. There are physical needs, there are psychological needs, there are emotional needs, there may be social needs, there may be financial needs, various kinds of needs. So when you are going to somebody with so many needs, you are going as a beggar and a beggar cannot choose. Hello? Beggar eat what comes his way, isn't it? He cannot choose. So, if you really want to make a choice in this world, first and foremost thing is, you bring yourself to your place where your experience of life is just pleasant by yourself. You're wonderful. Now, let us see what gets drawn to this one. If you're really wonderful, things will happen in every way, I'm saying. In terms of career, in terms of marriage, in terms of relationships, the best will happen to you because you made yourself like this. Instead of trying to work on somebody and fix them, if you work upon yourself and make you so wonderful that everybody wants to be with you, then there is a choice. And this whole thing is an American thing that there is a soul mate somewhere. God made just one more person just for you. But these days, every two years, he keeps making one more person <laughs> just for you. <laughs> Obviously, God is making too many mistakes with you <laughs> See, body needs a mate, understandable. Maybe psychologically also you need a mate, understandable. Emotionally you need a mate. A soul cannot need a mate. So soul doesn't need a mate, nor was some person made perfectly for you, okay? This creation makes uh, all kinds of unique idiots. If you understand you are one kind of idiot and the others are different kind, you will be… you will understand their nonsense because you know you got your stuff. If you think you're perfect and God has chosen you and he's made another person perfect somewhere else, you're heading for a disaster. Okay? There's no such thing. Yes. So, you're not going to find any perfect person. If you invest a deep sense of involvement, something wonderful may happen.